Coach Prime has the Buffs bowl eligible. Yes, you heard it right. Colorado has six wins on the year. They are six and two after their win over Cincinnati. What the win over Cincinnati means for the Buffs this year as they go into their bye week and what what this season has been like for Colorado getting massive, massive wins leading into the bye week and all of it in between. We'll talk about it after the bumper. Stay tuned. This is massive because Colorado, they're rolling. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lightsey Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Notification bell because I upload all the time. Colorado, the Buffs, Coach Prime and the Buffs, 6-2 and two on the year. After starting shaky against North Dakota State and then getting th lost to Nebraska, Colorado has been on a mission. I mean, even in the game that they lost since then, Kansas State, it was the fourth quarter. I mean, Kansas State took the lead in the fourth quarter. It was a big, big-time game. But they are balling. I mean, they have completely revamped this program in under two years. They being Coach Prime and his staff, Coach Deion Sanders and the staff have revamped the program that two years ago had one win, last year had four wins, and through eight games have six wins and is legitimately competing for the Big 12 title uh, this is this is all amazing. This is the team that I expected to see when it started. If you go back to any of my old videos, I said this year would be the year. Shadur would be the first quarterback in the draft. Travis probably would be the first player in the draft. And I said preseason, I thought this team would go undefeated. And then they had those first couple. should still win 10 or so games. And then it started to look a little shaky. But now this is the Colorado team that has changed. Why is this team... Playing like the team Jeff, Jeff Lighty Jr., whether you believe me or not, believe that they would be from the start. It starts with the defense. I'm going to just go ahead and say it starts with the defense. We know they have playmakers. Wester, Travis, Draylon Miller, all, Will Shepard, Jimmy Horn. They, they got weapons everywhere. They, they, can, they can score points. If that offensive line is going to hold up, we're going to talk about them in a second. But it starts with the defense. Because even when the O-line was bad, Travis, Shadur, and the rest of those guys could go out there and score points. But could they stop people? Could they could they bat down passes? Could they catch interceptions? Could they hope guard their man as far as the receivers? Can they make open field plays? Like when it matters, can they get crucial fourth down stops? Like they third and fourth down stops like they did against Cincinnati? And the answer has been a resounding biggest offseason move probably for anyone, was the hiring of their defense. He has been one of the best coaches in all of college football. I can't even think of his name, Livingston. I think his name is Livingston. Coach Livingston for the Colorado defense has been one of the best hires in all of college football because Coach Livingston created a real defense over there. Coach Livingston did what the last coach last year couldn't do. He created a defensive culture. He went out there. They went out portal heavy, 40, 50, new guy, whatever it was, a bunch of dudes out of the portal, but actually got them to mesh and play well and fight for each other and compete and make plays. And that, to me, has been the ultimate difference. I knew Shador Sanders was an NFL player going into this season. You knew Shador Sanders was an NFL player going into this season. You knew Travis Hunter was not, if not the best, one of the best players in the entire country going into the season. Now he's just proven that he the best, not one of the best, the best. And if he plays wide receiver in the NFL, he'll be a $40 million per year wide receiver. He'll be an all pro pro football hall of famer. That's just what I think. Regardless was given, but somehow, some way, you know, these guys have actually been better <laughs> as good as we knew that Shadour and Travis were particularly them too. Cause we got to talk about them too. Cause them two going to be, they're going to be in New York. They're going to be in New York for the Heisman trophy ceremony. Let's not, let's not play games. Barring injury, those two guys will be in New York. And if Colorado keeps winning, Travis will take that joint home. I mean, what did Travis finish this game with? Nine catches, 153 yards, and two touchdowns. Shadur started the game 15 to 15, guys. He didn't throw an incompletion for his first 15 passes. His first 15 passes. 
Come on, man. First 15 passes, no incompletion. 323 through the air, 25 of 30, two touchdowns. And then, ha, 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 the Buffs have finally figured out a way to run the ball. Isaiah Gustav, 22 carries, 91 yards. The Buffs total 37 rushing attempts, 30 passes, 37 runs. Let me repeat, 37 rushing attempts for, what, 128 yards. That's, that, that's good for them. That's really that's good in general. It's really good for them. And so when you combine all of these things together, you get the team that I thought we would see just from week one. It took a little, it took it a few weeks to gel. It took it a, took them a few weeks to figure themselves out as a team to get it all to gel. But I knew this team was supremely talented. Jordan Seaton has finally figured it his way. The left start and left tackle is a true freshman. He's figured his way out. Shadur is not holding the ball as long. And he's finding the guys. He's hitting open guys. He's throwing guys open. He is, he's going to be the number one. He's because of quarterbacks and the lack of good ones in the NFL. It's crazy to say, but the NFL has a lot of bad quarterbacks. My Oakland Ra my Las Vegas Raiders, rather. My Raiders actually, we're going to get Shadur Sanders. But Shadur Sanders is going to be the number one overall pick. It's going to be him. It's going to be Cam Ward. It's going to be Travis. Those are going to be the th top three picks. You, I'm saying it here in October. It's easy to project because quarterbacking, qu a lot of teams in the NFL need quarterbacks, and those two are the only two worth taking even in the first freaking round. And so because they're the only two worth taking in the first freaking round, teams are going to push themselves up, including my Raiders. We may not need to push up. We were so terrible. We, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing, which is losing. And we're going to get a guy like Shador Sanders. Plus, Brady's in the building. Shador, Brady, they like this. And he's not going to Cleveland and Carolina. Let's get into it. Let's, let's be real. But regardless, what I'm saying is that dude has taken his game to another level. Travis has taken his game to another level. And their offense was already going to be good. But that defense and the fact that their offensive line is holding up and they can actually show a pulse of a running game. Those were the only things holding Colorado back from being this type of team. Being this type of team was the defensive side of the ball. Can you block for Shadur? And can you show at least a pulse? I'm not asking you to have Barry Sanders in the backfield. I'm not asking you to run like you have Derrick Henry in the backfield. Can you show a pulse of a running game? And they've shown that with their weapons on the outside, Wester, Shepard, Hunter, Miller, all those dudes, Horn, all those dudes with your door orchestrating the offense. This is a dangerous, dangerous team. And with six wins and whatever bowl game they end up in and whatever. I mean, don't ugh, this team is literally fighting for the Big 12 title. They have one Big 12 loss. One Nebraska. That's not a, they're in the Big 10. So you have one Big 12 loss. And that's the Kansas State. And you've got some games down the stretch with an opportunity to punch your ticket. To, to be in the mix for a Big 12 title. You've got Utah at the back end of that schedule, Kansas and Oklahoma State, I want to say, after the bye week. I mean, you could be talking about that, – that could be three more wins. You could be talking about a 9 or 10 win team like I predicted. I predicted it, by the way. And now they're finally – I said 12-0. and 0, I said undefeated. But they're not going to be that. But I thought they'd have a really good season, and this is turning out to be true. First time bowl eligible since 2020. Two years ago, this was a one-win team. Last year, this was a four-win team. And through eight games, they are a six-win team and bowl eligible for the first time in four seasons. Bravo, Coach Prime. You proved a lot of people wrong. You proved a lot of people wrong, but you've made even more people happy because people have been rooting for this team from the jump. I was a bit, I'm a Jack, you guys know I'm a JSU guy. I'm a JSU guy, but I knew Prime would have success there because of the way he's able to recruit and because of the coaches he goes out and get. He allows his coaches to be coaches, to do what they do best, to do what they do best. Pat Shermer run the offense. You go get you a real defensive guy, a real defensive coordinator and Coach Livingston, and now you're one of the better teams in the Big 12. You have a legit chance at a Big 12 title in just your second year. The question is, and with in the way they're playing, they're getting recruits too. We're going to talk about that later. But that is crazy. Six and two going into a bye week. Bravo, Colorado. Coach Prime, 
Bravo. My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Colorado is bowl eligible for the first time in four years. And Coach Prime got those boys playing out of their mind going into the bad week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lightsey Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and notification bell because I upload all the time. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at jlightc7. That is on X and Instagram at jlightc7. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you next time. Peace.